As a connoisseur of Battle for Agriculture, I'm always looking for the next big farm. A while back we found that in BF4 when playing on the North American servers. For some reason though, we hadn't tried it yet in Battlefield 2042, so today I've brought the Stealth Heli over to the States, and we're going to see how hard it can be pushed. Before that though, a message from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Mech Arena. Mech Arena is the perfect game for those who love shooters but don't have the time like they used to. You can hop in and play a few matches in less than 10 minutes, and despite that, still have a great time. All the maps are designed to provide short, intense gameplay, with tons of encounters and respawns. It's a proper game in a mobile package. When I hopped in and played, the first thing I noticed was the intuitive controls and feeling of the game. Everything is easy enough to figure out and it doesn't have that awkward feel of a mobile game. Game's also really quick, usually under 5 minutes, and I never got bored due to the constant action. While it's not a reflex shooter or anything, the design definitely helps to feel faster than most mech games. And this month is huge for mech arena. First up, it's Battle Pass Season 9, with tons of rewards and skins to grab. And at the same time, it's also Mech Arena's one year anniversary and they've got a packed schedule of special events with some crazy prizes to win, including an awesome new sniper weapon and a new pilot, Archangel. Can't wait to dive into it all. If you want to give it a go, Mech Arena is free to play and they've hooked us up with a great deal. Using your iOS or Android, you can use my personal link or scan the QR code to get a free starter pack worth $25. You get a Firelight skin, a Prodigy crate and a Plasma 4 cannon to help kickstart your game. If you're quick enough, you can even add me to your friends list and we can play some matches, so don't wait around. Yo, what's up guys? We're here in the Stealth Heli on the US servers, gonna see how many kills we can get. As far as I know, these seem to be the best servers to pick up a lot of kills in Battlefield 2042. I just seem to find the most clueless enemies on these servers. And I don't always like playing against clueless enemies, I remember when I got banned on the Australian servers once on BF4. I played a week of US servers and I honestly just got bored. I kind of like the challenge sometimes on Australian servers that you, you have a lot of people trying to kill you and a lot of experienced players on there. But it is nice coming on these servers every now and then and just seeing how many kills you can get because it really is a different game. It's, it's in a completely different game on these servers. Case in point, this transport helicopter should have easily killed me. I've left him unaware or unattended for quite a long time plenty of time to kill me but he doesn't seem to want to do that anyways because we have got him dead now we can farm the inside area and there are plenty of kills to go around here shit, hit reg feels really good as well on these uh stealth heli hmgs i think the hmgs are the best option for sure they're just the fastest time to kill on uh, yeah, infantry so if you actually hit your shots and they are definitely a faster time to kill against air targets Overall, just a more skilled option, a lot it more fun. just be that I'm just not used to no gyro on the gunner. Looks like we've pretty much cleared that out. There's a couple guys coming down the zip line on the right. Let's see if we can get that guy. Unfortunately, I think they're just AI. Anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but I won't talk too much about the Season 2 leaks, but I have seen that they are adding a stealth bomber. Potentially, that's going to be the vehicle we're going to get. I think it's going to be one map, one vehicle, and one specialist. Pretty much like what we got in Season 1. Honestly, it's a pretty pathetic amount of content. It's really not good enough, but... Somehow, I guess I just keep enjoying this game. I don't know why. I don't enjoy it that much, but... Out of all the FPS games out right now, there's none that really capture my interest too much. Not yet, at least. Hopefully, the new COD game's good. Aside from that, though... I mean, I'm pretty excited to try out the new Stealth Bomb, if that's what they do add. So far, all the air vehicles that DICE has introduced to this game have been really overpowered, so I wouldn't mind getting an overpowered plane. I haven't really got one in the base game yet, so it could be a fun thing to abuse for a bit, but of course, good balance is very important. It's still getting a lot of kills on the server, and it is definitely just a different game. It's so, so different playing on the server and having pretty much Bro, no one target me. Scout drones over to try and EMP you. What is this? <laughs> His prom says that that's how they're trying to counter me right now. They have a, a drone that's flying around trying to hit me with the darts. Unfortunately, get hit through the flares there. It's pretty unlucky. Just going to retreat a little bit, get the bombs out and try to get this one guy. At least one guy. Maybe him. Nope. Maybe the bombs are delayed. I feel like on Australian servers I'd get that kill, but maybe I'm just wrong. 
get this guy because he shot at us. One more inside the tunnel and a last. Nice little three piece there. And that's what I like about the HMGs. They're just really, really yes, laser accurate. That's what they're doing, bro. <laughs> bro, there's three of them up in the air. What is this? Aside from the stealth bomber as well, the other leak we got was that the map, it, it's like a dam style map with a giant ship. Some people have been saying that it could be naval combat coming into the game. Honestly, I doubt it. I really doubt there'll be na any naval combat. Simply because if they do that, they have to add more than one vehicle. And I'm pretty sure DICE is pretty strict to that whole one vehicle, one specialist, one map. I'm, I'm, I think that's going to be each season a very, very common theme. It's exactly what we're going to get. Anyways, if the map is what it looks like, I hope it's that not just a remake of Lang Kang Dam. Because like it does look suspiciously what similar. What is going on? Uh, I think Lang Kang is probably the worst map in Battlefield 4. Anyways, I got a hind up to my top left. While I was playing, I probably didn't realize, but for some reason, I haven't decided to target it yet. I guess on these uh, American servers, you can probably develop some pretty bad habits because I really should be killing that hind straight away. And if he was a good player, he would have killed me by now, but I just haven't encountered any really good players on the server. Spraying into the smoke very rarely works with the HMGs, but kind of knew where that guy was. Finally, let's go chase down this hind. Right after I kill this guy, of course. Making sure to stay above him. The hinds really can't do anything if you're above it. It's too big and clunky. Get a quick little two kill there. Double kill. And there's another hind over here. I'll try to hit a toe on it, but... That's the one thing that's really hard to hit. Tow missile on this server. It's very, very hard to use. And there's also a stealth heli up really, really high. I do want to go kill it, but... It is pretty far up there. We'll see if we can hit a tow and make things oh, a lot easier. We've got a NASA gamer. And that thing just glitches everywhere. Anyway, we're flying up to his altitude now. Struggling a bit with the lead, but managed to get him down pretty easy there. Bro, even the gunners are interesting. <laughs> yeah, as my gunners saying, I mean, it's just a different game. It, that's all I can say. It's a different game over here. Then come farm the NA servers. I think that's the play. So, if you're an Australian, the way that you can do this is either with a VPN, or you can also just uh, region lock your router. If you have a certain router, I think mine can do it. And I'd recommend it. I'd recommend trying it out if you want some easier games at least. I was playing this at around like 3, 4 p.m. local time. And it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint at all. A lot of people in my Twitch chat at the time were saying that it was due to the game being like played at a later time for the North American people. So this is like their late night games. I don't know. I've always had pretty good experiences on these servers but we'll have to see i'm sure there's good players i mean I, I know that probably some of the best players in the game are north american so obviously every region has its good and bad players i think battlefield 2042 is just one of those games where playing against really really good players is almost not enjoyable because of how the game mechanics are it happens that the good players are probably going to be abusing really annoying things See if we can get a toe into then kill those two. No problem for the uh, stealth alley. And we're also doing this on the US team, which is quite rare. Uh, I like to be on the Russian team, just so I don't have to verse the hind. But the hinds have been no problem, so the US heli is just fine. Let's see if we can get a couple of these guys. It's one and two. Hind pulls up on us. He's hit a one shot on us. There's two hinds, so this this should be an instant death situation. Sure enough, though, the guy hits no shots, and that's just incredible. It really is incredible. A three-man Heinz doesn't hit anything. What a stealth heli on me now. I'm trying to back him away so I can get my flares up. I don't want to fight him without flares. So now I'm going to fly backwards towards him, so when he flies over me, he'll be in front of me. He tries to bomb me there. That's actually a very respectable move, but 
Vehicle's taking damage. Fortunately, we were pretty ready for that. And I'll just barrel roll down a bit. The barrel roll is totally optional, <laughs> just for style. Try to hit a tow missile on this transport heli, but I'm really not very good with those. Well, on Australian servers, I can hit them. On these servers, no chance. It's too much delay. Let's see if we can clean up the remaining inf- Ooh. And that's how the first heli ends. <laughs> so, a little bit of background story. At this point, the only thing that's killed me in these servers so far has been buildings and trees. And, yeah, unfortunately, we lose a heli there. So, we've got another one up. we got a hind and a jet. Jet's coming close, so I'm going to try to kill it. I'm not leading enough, really. On Australian servers, that's the right amount of lead, but you got to lead just a little bit more here. And a transport pushing from high altitude in Australian servers, this is usually a death. Not really a good way to go about this. As long as he holds down W, you should win. Luckily, we managed to hit a lot of shots here. And even with our gunner, not through both of that jet and heli pretty easily. And they do one damage total between both of them. It's just built different over here. Another transport heli. And I just haven't seen a single decent transport heli so far. And for a lot of you guys will say like, oh, it's just a lucky game. This is all live streamed on Twitch. If you uh, actually want to go watch, you can watch my stream at twitch.tv slash silk. Usually we do get some pretty good games in on stream, some cursed ones for sure. But on this stream in particular, Almost all the games on the American servers are really, really good. Just a very consistently strong experience. The only thing that made it less good was that we versed a, a Chinese cheater in a wildcat, which made it pretty hard. He was just insane. Well, apparently he was cheating, but I'm not 100% sure. If he's not, he's like the best wildcat player I've ever seen, but I still ended up farming. And just look at this. This is something that you just don't see on like, the servers I play on. Just an open range of kills like that. It's very, very rare to see. Just yet again, the exact same thing on the other side. As many kills as you can get, as long as you don't overheat. And... Wait, no, take me to stealth. I want to steal it. It's a stealth heli that somehow doesn't die. So I'll let Prom jump out and try to get it. And this guy tries to stop him. But we're not having that. Gonna get rid of him. But unfortunately, when you steal, steal a stealth heli, 90% of the time they've got the default loadout. And it's just not very good. Right, now my teammates are in that spot that I was farming, unfortunately. But I'll just switch sides and get these guys instead. And no matter where you go, you just got kills. I found the overheat more common than the rows. There was zero row activity barely any stingers and this is the most farm i've ever seen in battle for 2042 for what i've seen there's uh, youtube videos i've watched where this isn't even the this isn't even the peak you can get a lot more than this see i'd be curious what you guys think what is the hardest region that you've experienced in gaming have you ever played multiple regions what do you guys think in my opinion, it's probably EU. EU has some really, really good players. But as far as uh, public servers go, I reckon the Australian servers are pretty solid. They're just really sweaty. They're always really, really sweaty. We don't have many players. All the players we do have are getting constantly exposed to a few of us who are just always farming in different vehicles and infantry and all that stuff. So they get good pretty fast. And if they don't get good, they get good at counting the good players. I don't think it's these players though. These guys are just ridiculous. It's almost like AI. It really is. Are you sure you didn't queue up for solo? Like, what is this? <laughs> as long as I don't overheat, there's another kill on the way. Some reason I didn't play there. It's my fault. 
we'll just back away for a little bit. Stealth mode really, really saves your life at a lot of these situations. And guys, if you're watching, please don't nerf the HMGs. I don't think they're overpowered. It might be biased, because I like using them a lot, but... They're just accurate. They're just accurate, and they do a decent amount of damage. Not crazy amount, but pretty decent. They're really only as good as the player using them. It's not like the 30 mils where anyone can just pick them up and farm. We will see, though. If, if you do find that a lot of players start just going ham with the HMGs, maybe they will be too strong, but... At the moment, I don't see anyone using them. Seems to just be a little bit of an untapped potential. <laughs> As you can see in the chat, my squad votes. We're getting told to relax and they're saying that OC is taking over. Oceania, basically. Australia, New Zealand. And we might, we might start playing on these servers from now on because this really is just about as good as it gets. The only thing I want is to be able to hit tow missiles. Unfortunately, it's just a bit too hard at the moment. Is that an attack helicopter? Fortunately, I've way overcommitted here. Like, this is a massive overcommit. The Rao hack definitely doesn't help either. And rough situation. I try to dodge a missile here. Two health, back up away. And I've got to hit every shot here. Shoot out the gunner. And I'd say that's pretty close to hitting every shot. But unfortunately we do get caught out. And that's going to be the end of the game for me. Don't end up getting another heli. But that is a 123-2 and two game in a very short amount of time. With that said guys, if you did enjoy, please do subscribe, like the video. Leave a comment, all that stuff, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.